Hi everybody and welcome back to another Napa STEM Academy science video. Today we'll be doing an experiment with seed germination. We'll learn some fancy science words like imbibition and enzymes, learn the science behind developing plants, and then get to grow our own. Let's jump in. In our experiment, you will see that your seed will grow a little at the beginning before it starts to sprout. It's growing because it is absorbing water, which is called imbibition. The part of the plant that grows down into the ground is called the root. Roots take in water and nutrients and hold the plant to the soil. In the process of seed germination, enzymes are special proteins in the seed that help the seeds to grow. Shoots are the part of the plant that grows upward out of the ground and will begin to grow leaves. Observation is the process of paying close attention to what is happening to something over a period of time. So what does the science say about germination? Germination is the process of seeds developing into new plants. First, the seed must be in an environment which will trigger seed growth. Usually, this is determined by how deep the seed is planted, water availability, and temperature. When water is plentiful, the seed fills with water in a process called imbibition. The water activates special proteins called enzymes that begin the process of seed growth. First, the seeds grow a root to access water underground. Next, the shoots or growth above the ground begin to appear. The seed sends a shoot towards the surface, where it will grow leaves to harvest energy from the sun. With all that in mind, let's get started on our project. The materials you'll need are a clear jar, paper towels, water, and seeds. Sunflower or pea or bean seeds usually grow the quickest. We found ours at our local Home Depot. Step one, take your clear jar and fill it with paper towels. Fold them and push them down into the jar. Use enough of them so that it fills the jar completely. Then, gently add water to get the paper towels good and wet, but make sure not to flood the jar. You may notice that as you start to add water, your paper towels will shrink down a little. If that's the case, just add a few more paper towels on top and make sure to get those wet as well. Step three, carefully push the seeds down into the jar on the outside edge of the paper towels. Make sure it is easy to see them and that they are firmly held in place. Finally, the next step isn't really a step, but an observation over time. Over the next few days and weeks, you will be able to see the seed respond to the water and begin the process of germination. Seed germination not only shows us the beginning process of how a seed grows into a plant, but it also teaches us that a lot of the plant life we see in the world has started from a seed. Grass comes from seed, bushes and flowers come from seed, and trees come from seeds. Next time you go on a walk with your family, take a look at all the different and amazing plant life in your neighborhood. For some extra fun, ask your parents to purchase some flower seeds and plant soil from the store and find a creative and fun flower pot to plant them in. You could use an old rain boot, a coffee mug, an egg carton, or just about anything that will hold soil for it to grow. Use your imagination. We hope you'll enjoy watching your little seeds start coming to life. Feel free to check out our lesson plan for accommodations and a challenge activity. We'll see you next week with another science video.